Hey everybody, welcome back to Blue Chip Drip. Just sharing my journey and trying to give back to the king of DeFi, the Drip Network. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. You need to do your own research to make the best decision suited for your situation. Many moons ago, I had a friend who wanted to stop drinking alcohol and he asked me to he wanted to go to Alcoholics Anonymous, AA, and he was a little nervous, asked me to go with him. So I went with him, and after a few meetings, he became uh, comfortable, and I quit going there with him. And he uh, ended up doing real well and, you know, met a nice young lady, got married, and he's prospered since. But he became a real valuable part of that group, and he has uh, blessed others. Anyway, uh, what I noticed, you know, I, like I said, I quit going to those meetings, didn't need to go, didn't feel I was an alcoholic by any means. But what I noticed uh, about that group was, or that program, it pretty much taught a positive way of living. And I remember they always started every meeting with a prayer. And I uh, I think I uh, went like, hope I don't mess this up, you know, hope I don't offend anybody. But the prayer was, uh, it was called the serenity prayer. And it was, God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the change the thing, the strength to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And, uh, Man, I haven't recited that. That's been 30, 40 years ago. I haven't really thought about that prayer or recited it since until about a month and a half ago, uh, two months ago, a month and a half ago, something like that. I can't, uh, I was having a tough day at work. I was stressed out and I checked the drip price and the price had dropped below a dollar. And man, it just rolled off my lips. God, give me the strength to accept the things I can't change, change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. It was just, I, I just found it funny that I remember that prayer after like 40 years. But anyway, um, you know, we can't control the, the macro market. I believe that's what you call it, the macro market. And we can't control the price of B&B &B necessarily. But, you know, so why freak out over those things? Why get upset? Um, I guess technically you can go buy $100,000 worth of B&B &B and that would up the price a little bit. But, you know, keeping it on a kind of a realistic level. Um, but we can be more positive instead of negative or fudding. Um, you know, we have, you know, being, being more positive instead of negative, that might prevent people from selling or panicking, you know, cause can we control those things? Uh, is what I'm trying to say. I meant to say, you know, after I said, can we control B and B is what I meant to say. Can we control people or that are panicking and selling and, and I'm saying if you're more positive instead of being negative or fudding, maybe we can control some of that. We have community leaders who um, are elite in their fields and develop projects that I think we have close to half a dozen, maybe more. I can't remember all of them. And I recited them in my, you know, I named some of them in my last uh, video, but, you know, we have, uh, these guys, they're develop, they have developed projects that are burning drip and sent it to the tax vault. And they uh, have projects that send B&B &B to the reservoir. And I believe this, along with some of the, uh, you know, excitement from the drip drop draw, that that is probably... I believe that's part, mostly the cause of the positive price action that we're having now. Um, we can be active in our communities, our, our, our friends, family, those who are in DRIP, 
and instead of being negative today, I was uh, driving to work and it's about a 45 minute commute. And I turned into, I tuned into uh, Bartertown's AMA. I believe it was named the drip drop draw alpha leak. And if you're in drip or looking at drip, I, I recommend that you check this video out. But uh, that was about a 45 minute or hour video, I believe. But, you know, the uh, my favorite part of that video was the young lady who was spoke on there a little bit. And I didn't really catch the names of these developers or you know, they had a guy on there or a couple guys that were responsible for the developing of drip, drop, draw. But there was a young lady that spoke and she had this awesome, beautiful Australian or British accent. And the part I liked the most is when she said, when you accumulate in the bear market, you obtain generational wealth in the bull market. Man, I love that the way she said that. Uh, sounded like the Queen of England was saying that stuff, man. But, you know, if you haven't uh, seen that video, I encourage you to check it out. Um, you know, if, if you don't have time to listen to the whole thing, uh, Drip Coach, uh, he put out a great follow-up and summary today. I listen to both. I, I listen to Bartertown first. Then I listen to um, Drip Coach because I'm a rock man. I, you know, I got to hear things two or three times. Um, I don't retain it all. I still haven't retained it all. Anyway, after I finish, I'm you know back to the title of this video. Um, I messaged my team leader, Token Tom, uh, or shared the video with him. And shortly after, he, he called me. See, um, Token Tom, uh, he has been one of these folks uh, hoarding or just holding his drip in, and uh, in, in, you know, just holding it in his wallet and stated sometimes he's going to wait for the price to go up and just sell it. You know, we like to say dump it. But I've heard him saying of his breath, if I could just see a little bit of positive action, I'd hydrate it and continue march. But anyway, he called me after watching the video and just kind of wanted to get my thoughts on it. And we talked about it. And I asked, uh, I said, well, man, you, you still holding all that drip in your wallet? And he said, hell no, I'm hydrating it. Boom, shakalaka, boom, baby. That's what's, that's putting in a brick. Well, it was about 1,500 drip. I mean, if that's, that's not enough to be a brick, at least it's the cement, the mortar, you know, that you put on top of the brick, you know, when you, you build a wall. But what if 50 people convince 50 other people who are in drip to do the same thing? Well, that would be many bricks to me. Anyway, uh, it was a good conversation. Uh, Token Tom's been in crypto since 2013, he's made some big money. And, uh, you know, he shared some good information with me. Uh, he was telling me how in, uh, I hope I don't mess these dates and numbers up. I'm sure somebody will, you know, you got a bunch of people out there really smart. No, actually, the bear market was in 2011 and drip, you know. But anyway, this is kind of a summary of what he said. And it, you know, it may not be exact, but it's, you'll get the gist of it. Uh, in 2011, the bear market in the bear market of 2011, Bitcoin went from $32 to one cent. I'm sure people said, Hey, see, this is a joke, man. This is just a, a flash in the pan. But do you, how many thousands of thousands of people do you think obtain a generational wealth from that bear market? We know there were thousands of thousands, uh, 2018, Bitcoin up to 20,000, drops to 3,200 in 2019. 2020, 63,000. 63, now it's, I think it's around like 26,000 or something like that. But during these bear markets, I, you know, we, we know that there are people 
who accumulated in those bear markets and are now now have obtained generational wealth. And I believe we have an equal opportunity, if not better, in drip. Um, last uh, following this, uh, let's see. Oh, I had several people hit me up uh, wanting help getting started in drip. And for me, I'm, I'm kind of a newbie myself. I don't feel proficient enough to put out a video. However, there are some awesome, credible YouTubers that have put out professional videos, you know, step by step on how to do this. Look, you're going to have to have an exchange. I like crypto.com. And look, a lot of this is going to change with the on and off ramp. So, but for right now, if you're wanting to get in while the price is low, you're going to need an exchange to buy Binance. And I use crypto.com mostly because uh, there's no waiting. You know, if I buy BNB, I can go ahead and send it to my MetaMask and swap it right then. I think Coinbase and some of the other ones, QCoin, they have like a, like a five-day waiting period or something. And most importantly, when you sell it and you want to send it back to your bank account, there's no waiting either. So for right now, I mean, from my opinion, and like there's a lot, a lot of people out there smarter than myself, I use crypto.com. You're going to need a MetaMask wallet to, uh, you know, connect to your exchange so you can send your BNB to the MetaMask. Then you're going to go to uh, uh, drip.community backslash fountain dot com um i believe that's the the address you know connect your wallet and then swap it for drip then of course put it in your faucet but i appreciate you asking me to help you and possibly get on my team if i bring on a team member it's going to be a person to person old school way for right now until i feel proficient enough to put out a video anyway i'm going to attempt to show my wallets here you, you look right now this is my max wallet you know um i've already airdropped what was in there i had like uh 500 and something in there today then after the whale tax i ended up doing like 460 to my to my uh other wallet let me see if i could bring it up the problem i'm having and i i, I think i know how to fix it but is you know, I can do all this stuff if I don't have my video uh, editor launched. But when I try to airdrop or hydrate and all that stuff, it takes forever. Now, if I just have if I have my video editor closed, I can do everything pretty fast. But anyway, I would like to attempt to switch over to my third wallet just so you guys can see that I've been doing what. I said I've been doing it. There it is. Boom. There's my third wallet. That baby's looking good, boy. 4542. Let me tell you before I go, you know, listening to that AMA today, you know, listening to these guys that develop the drip drop draw. I mean, they got like four or five wallets already. And wallets that have already expired but they said something they said you know you got to keep doing that so you always stay on the curve you just don't want to max out one wallet start cashing out just to get behind again and see that's cool because i never heard that from anybody telling me that i just figured it out so if a, if a dumb guy like me and a, a former jarhead can look at that and say hey it would make sense to do this you know, that, that it says, you, you know, you don't have to be the most brilliant person. I mean, it's like the young lady said today in the uh, AMA, she said, we're all not uh, developers and graphic designers, but we can all contribute in our own way. And, and we all have the same opportunity. Where can you go in this world today and find a group of intelligent people you know, these master developers and, and master financial analyzers and, and, and have them so focused on creating a program that provides generational wealth. 
and and offers it and, and says, hey, wants to show people. Usually, you know, coming up, there are people who had that type of money, but they didn't share what they did. So, you know, that says a lot. But anyway, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, have a great evening. This is Blue Chip Drip out of here.